there's more. Hang on to your seat, baby, cause this one's a screamer, a screamer. What is going on, YouTube? So today is time for another Z's Town Hall, you guys. You already know the Baddies trailer dropped yesterday, so we have some things to catch up on. So um, yesterday and more reacted to basically the trailer and um, everything that dropped yesterday, like the screen grabs of the trailer and everything. And she had this to say. If you guys don't know, this is Anne Moore. For those who are not familiar with her, um, she's like a viral star. I would say like a OnlyFans type girl. I'm not sure if she does OnlyFans or not, but that's the vibe I'm getting from her. She calls herself the throat goat. She said that on the interview. Um, she, like she's done like little viral stuff to make her like, I guess, famous and get her name out there, y'all. So this is what she had to say about the trailer and everything. So let me show you guys. Wait until that motherfucking sh when the show airs. We were fighting so much. I said, fuck hair and makeup. I don't think I even glued my fucking wig down after fight number two. Who I fought second? Oh Lord. Who's look, y'all not gonna get on my life with this shit. Look, let me tell y'all something right now about this show. I don't care what assumptions or prejudgments you guys made about me, right? Because even after the show airs and you guys see everything unfold. I'm still that bitch. I'm still a sweetheart and I still love people. And that's that. Oh, y'all saying, and let me tell y'all something else. Ladies, on the show, let's keep the beat to a minimum. Oh, shit. I talked a lot of shit on that show. I'm probably going to have to answer to some of that shit at this reunion. Wow, you guys, these guys at the reunion. Daddy sees it too. Ain't nobody speak nobody. All right, so that's what Amor had to say. And you guys, meeting her in person, she's actually really, really nice. And she gives me like Megan the Stallion type vibes. I think she is going to be a fan favorite. I think a lot of people are kind of denouncing her before they get to really, really get to know her. I think she's going to be the main focal point of the season. I think it's going to be her, Rock, and I believe probably, I would say between Roly and Persuasion. Those, I think, are going to be, like, the main storylines this season. But for sure, her and Rock, for sure. Because you can see in the trailer, she's going to be that underdog. She's going to be the one that's going to have a lot to live up to. Because, girl, you're new. You've never been on the show. So, yeah. Um, for her saying that um, people uh, are saying she snuck somebody, I'm guessing she's referring to... It looks like she's fought, she fought Natalie in the trailer. And that you see when that whoever was on that couch, I'm pretty sure it was Natalie, when they went down, right? on the couch and then um it looks like Anne was on top of her like fighting her on the couch so i guess that's what people meant when she was sneaking people at the end of the day natalie deserves it so i don't think it was a sneak to be honest because i doubt she would just sneak her out of nowhere with no reason about it right so somebody who had something to say about um the baddies right a hater in my opinion because why are you hating girl is judy Y'all, Judy posted on Instagram something so uh, high and mighty and conceited, in my opinion. She's, oh my, I couldn't believe she posted that. I was just like, wow, like, you really think that you're, like, above and beyond BGC, even though BGC is what made you. It kind of pissed me off when I read this, because I'm just like, don't kind of forget where you came from. You get what I'm saying? She said this on Instagram. She said, I come from prime time television. Do not ever confuse it with a streaming app. It will never compare. And I would never do no low budget uh, ghetto delusional BS. It's so watered down. Now the golden days of reality TV is over. They done let way more than GDs through the door. Who are these people? And in my opinion, I'm just like, girl, it's the same people. So this is uh, the confirmation, you guys, because yeah, I want y'all to think I'm just making this up. Shout out to uh, Zeus Gone Bad 2.0. So this is what she said again. I come from primetime television. Do not ever confuse it with a streaming app. It will never compare. And I will never do no low budget ghetto delusional BS. It will water down now. The golden days of reality TV are over. We've been kind of new that the golden days are kind of over. But Judy, don't 
act like you weren't on the first season of Baddies, girl. Like, you agreed to it regardless. Even though it was trash, don't get me wrong, they did kind of lead her astray, and they promised her more than uh, what they actually did and gave her. So if I was her, I would be kind of pissed too, not gonna lie, looking at this. But she's coming from a side of a hater. I would come from a, a side of, hey, bitch, y'all y'all got me fucked up because look how y'all did me first season and look what y'all doing now. Because the second trailer actually looks lit. They actually look like they're doing stuff. They're going on tour, for God's sakes. They're going to multiple cities. That's a cool-ass concept. You get what I'm saying? So I would be pissed if I was her because the first season they robbed her. They put her in a room with Sydney. You feel me? And, and just made her look a damn fool. So I get where she's coming from, but girl, humble yourself. Don't act like, you feel me, you didn't do Zeus before. Don't act like you weren't on the original BGC, which BGC is great and all, but let's not act like it's the Real Housewives of Atlanta or Potomac where, you feel me, they're getting paid big chunky checks. So that's all I'm saying. So prime time, I'm not too sure about that. Um, daytime, I would say. <laughs> So another person also that I wanted to catch up you guys on is Big Big Lex. Y'all say it's not Big Big Lex. Y'all need to check out Big Lex's song, uh, Never Running. Bruh, when I tell y'all that song, it's so lit, right? I love that song. Like, there's a part in the song, I feel like if she promotes the song even more, it'd become TikTok famous. Like, it's a part of the song that goes, I'm more lit than your bitch. She can't keep up. She a little stiff. Niggas want to hit because I'm thinking it's a bitch I average. Like, come on. That's a whole TikTok dance in my mind, right? So she was on live the other day and somebody mentioned, would she be a good cast for season three baddies? So people want her on season three baddies and this is what she had to say. Yes, I would do baddies. So as y'all see and her sister girl said, she would do baddies. Okay, shout, shout out again. Uh, to Zeus um, Gone Bad 2.0. So she basically confirmed she would do baddies. Would you guys like Big Lex on baddies? Because I would love her on baddies. Not going to lie. I like her on baddies because Big Lex is funny. She will bring the entertainment. One thing I noticed about this season that they don't have, Roly to me is funny, but they don't have somebody that's like hilarious. Big Lex is hilarious. You get what I'm saying? The other day she was alive. <laughs> she said... Uh, she was talking to some of the girls on her cast. She was like, oh, yeah, y'all talking about don't bite the hand that feeds you. You bitches not on knuckles. <laughs> Who thinks of saying something like that? Like, that girl is funny as fuck. So I would love to see on baddies. As you guys know, she's funny and she's not afraid to fight as well. So I would want her on the cast 100%, right? So let's get into some bad boys. They already know the series is over. Oh, my God. What are we going to do? We'll live, okay? It wasn't that good, to be honest. <laughs> So let's not. <laughs> but uh, Anthony was on live um, earlier and uh, had some things to say about um, Bad Boys Houston, uh, which is Bad Boys Season 2. As you guys know, that is where um, Mr. Anthony resides, where the money resides. That's where he resides. So um, some people I'm wanted to draw. know if um, some people were wondering and we're trying to see if he was going to be on the second season. I already told you guys, I don't think he should be on the second season because I don't think he was that entertaining enough. But I wouldn't mind him doing little guest appearances. It would be kind of cool to kind of see him and Darrell maybe pop in, in an episode at a club somewhere, come back to the house, kind of instigate some shit, and then go home. You know what I'm saying? That would be kind of cute. So I wouldn't mind that. But him being there, a full cast member, not really. This is what he had to say about Bad Boy Season 2 um, with casting and everything that's going on. Drop a. I'm having an exclusive party this weekend, so I know a lot of you guys are coming in and to Houston um, for the audition. So I'm having an official after party um, at a private location. It's open to the public, but it's not any clubs that we ever go to. Um, so if you're coming to Houston, make sure that when I post a flyer, you tag yourself so I can make you an official host. Any advice for the boys auditioning? Yes. Um, be yourself, honestly. Um, put your shit on. Look cute. Be confident. You don't have to come to the audition trying to fight nobody because you're not going to get picked. You don't have to come to the audition and do the most. Just be yourself. Um, and get chose. Think about it like an interview. You do too much, you're definitely not getting the job. But if you do just enough, 
I'm gonna drop a what's the new episode, man. This is my thing. I be too fucking lit. We're not having a reunion. Um, I was one of the only people that wanted to go. I even offered to go for free because I'm trying, you know, the other cast members don't want to go. So I was really the only one that wanted to go at this point. So, I mean, it is what it is. Moving on to season two. I can't wait to see the boys that's coming after. Um, you know, it's going to be in Houston. So make sure y'all pull up to the auditions this, this Friday. Um, all the finest, the baddest. All the I'm for the fans. I'm trying to give y'all what y'all want. Like, you know, but y'all think I should be on season two? It only makes sense. It's in Houston. Um, and I mean, who else? If it was in any other city, I'm not even hating. I'm not gonna hate. If like, say for example, the show was in Atlanta, I feel like Milan should have a good chance at being on the show. I feel like if the show was in Louisiana, I feel like Darrell should have a good possibility to be on the show or like everybody in their city. But the fact that it's in Houston, I feel like I should be on the show. But I definitely agree it should be a bunch of new people, not social media influencers. Um, I'm writing for season two. I am definitely want to see all the boys on season two, like, you know, do their thing. But um, I don't know what Zeus is doing. I haven't talked to Zeus about, you know, who's on the cast or what, you know, but yeah. I'm for the so as you guys heard, he's kind of contemplating whether he should come back or not. Like I said before, I don't think he would be a good pick for season two. But also, here's my whole thing. If they're going to do a whole bunch of regular people, please don't base it off of social media following. Just because they don't have a whole bunch of followers, please don't pick them because they're not lit on Instagram. Because they could still kind of be slick with it. And just they might not be an influencer, but if they have a whole bunch of uh, followers on Instagram but they're not that known, they'll pick them. But then they come on the show and do nothing. So it's like, I just hope they pick them strictly based off of like personality because that would be kind of late. I do agree with what he's saying though with like everybody in their perspective cities. But like I said, it would just, I feel like they should just do like little appearances, not like a full cast member. And if you think Milan is going to ever do anything Zeus related after that first season of Bad Boys, you must be on crack, Anthony girl. <laughs> like, that's never going to happen. And when it comes to the reunion, uh, you mean to tell me, Anthony, I get we want the reunion all. You offered to go there for free, girl? Never that. I want my coins. I want my coin thadas. That would have been a no-go for me, baby. If I'm not getting paid, I'm not going. Like, that's crazy to me that he offered that. And that shows how not scary he is because I think he really wanted to go to uh, beat up Milan. So <laughs> that would, that's probably what, what his motivation was to do it for free because everybody else was planking out and not wanting to go to reunion, which kind of pisses me off. And hopefully Natalie's chin, you feel me, went down on that piece of paper and put that ink on that uh, uh, tip of the chin and, uh, and wrote in on a piece of paper, you must attend the reunion or you will not be paid your last reimbursement of the season like something of that sort so hopefully yeah let me know what you guys thought about some of this zeus tea you guys um you know i love to hear you guys' comments and everything you guys have to say so entertainers we are out baby